Good morning, my name is Derek Latham. I'm just out here to give you, you know, a walk around. After the walk around, you want to grease. If you um, run your machine every day for 10 hours, you want to grease. Every day, first thing in the morning. If not first thing in the morning, lunchtime or at the end of the day. As long as you make sure you do it at the same time every day, you'll be in good shape. Um, I like to start in the middle because this is basically where all my grease fittings are. In the middle is nothing past this articulation point. I start on one side. I know I, when I'm done, I'll be on the other side and greasing for the day is done. What I like to do is I usually go ahead and I wipe all the grease fittings off. You want to make sure you wipe your grease fittings off to make sure there's no debris or anything on your fittings to keep the fittings for, from receiving grease. So um, here, right here in, in, your, in the center here, we got a few here. We got a uh, we got a fitting up under here for the, the steering. Usually, if you do it every day, it should only take about about five pumps. You just want to do it until you're able to see grease. See, depending, depending on the fitting, is where you'll see grease. You give it five good strokes, and pretty much once you get it, you'll be in there. So we got here. Then right here we have grease fittings here. It's a T fitting. So it depends depending on where where the um, machine is when you turn it off, it might be on another on the other side. But it's a T fitting, so you can hit it from either this side or the other side. You just want to put it up there and make sure it snap. I usually put about 10 in here. Well, not even 10. It took three that time. You see how the grease started to come out? If you see in here, it's coming out through there. Okay, and this is it for this side of this side of the articulation point. And on this side, we have one, two, three, and the fourth one. And that is it for this side of the articulation points. Go ahead. Okay, now we since we got the artic that's this side of the articulation point worked out, we're gonna work forward. We have just these three here that we wanna get done. So we just put it up there, let it snap. And I see a grease come out. You can also hear it once you do it long for and we and we're good to go. So you wanna get if you can't hear it, you can't see it like I said, eight to ten, you'll be alright. So right there should be good. So we got those three for this part of the arm, and then next I'm gonna move to the the forward part of the arm, which has four. Okay, on the forward part of your head, head you have four grease fittings. You have one, two, three, and then there's one more that is located right on the other side, right behind this tire right here, that you'll be able to get. Which makes up that fourth one. I'm gonna go ahead and get these real quick. And that is it. I got the four right here on your arm. It's going to be the same seven identical to this side on the uh, like on the other side. Okay, I'm moving on to the head. Um, on this side of the head alone, there's 10 fittings. On the head total, there's 20. So this right here, once you get this side knocked out, the other 10 will be a breeze. Um, you have one here, it's on the other side. It takes some maneuvering to get to. It's one here for this point on the other side, and one for this point that's located on the other side as well. You have one for your for for your plate is one, two, three, and four. Then for the cylinder, you have one here, which is five, six, seven, eight. Then you have you have one up here. You have one here, you have one on the back of here, on the, and one on the back of, back of here. So, the best thing to remember when it comes to greasing, if it moves, it takes grease. You don't want nothing to lock up on you, and you try to grab an arm or move it, and it don't work, and then you lose the tree. Another point that moves, you want to make sure it gets grease. Okay. 
want to make sure you get a nice nice grease on it every day get the same fit as like on the other side you just want to make sure you get some grease in there make sure you hear it this is what this is what does a lot of work as well besides that saw help hold your, hold the hold your trees in place and be able to travel get them where they need to be just get it to come out once you get those four then you want to move and get the next three Okay, right here we want to continue on working this way. We got these three just like on the other side. Side is replicated. We got the two here. And these here, I just go ahead and put 10 in there because being there for the job, there, there, it's in there, I can't see it. So I just go ahead and uh, put 10 in there. And that is it for the, for right here in the articulation point because the other ones we got when we were on the other side which got all that knocked out and the last two for the wrist shaft are located in here in your box so i get these 10. The best way to remember if it moves, it needs grease. Grease on a daily brace on a basis, preventative maintenance is the key to making sure you can have it be effective on the job. Thank you and have a good day.